first installment of the build half of my new Natural Magic Mod Pack series. Yes, hello there, Meteor Shield. Let me go ahead and uh, show you what I've been doing here. You notice I am in creative. This is not a mistake. I am actually going to be doing two parts of this series. Uh, first of it is going to be creative building. And the second half is going to be survival, which I will do. Um, I will do the uh, creative building on Monday and the survival on Friday. So what we're going to do here, what we're doing right now, what we're working on is the Great Wall of Beefnopolis uh, surrounding. I'll show you on the map here. Uh, of course, I. I'm not sure what's going on, but this map does not like to save um, after I shut down. Anyway, we'll just uh, we'll fly around here. This is the Great Wall of Beefnopolis. It's going to surround this entire little uh, subcontinent here. And you can see where I kind of left off this morning sketching out the, the wall and the corridors. So uh, basically everything that is purely aesthetic is going to be done in creative. Uh, functional things like the Thomcraft research tables and other such apparatus will be done in will be done legit the only exception is these these right here these meteor shields uh, I'm cheating those in <laughs> because uh, I don't know if you notice that there are some occasional little pock marks in the in the uh, landscape here some uh, little bald spots where craters have been filled in that's right uh, not too long after I settled in this area, it was pummeled by these. These. These little friends here. And there's still probably a few of them running around loose out there. And they uh, they made a normal cat baby. But, um... Son of a gun. And that is why we have the meteor shields. And I don't know where that one hit. Uh, let's fly over here real quick and see. See if there's anything on fire over here. Does not appear to be. Okay. Well, I don't know where that one hit, but um, I guess if we see the forest start burning down, we'll know. <laughs> so, anyway. That is why we have the meteor shields. So that we can avoid that... Um, hello. Hello. Didn't notice that. That might be, um... Okay, we're gonna leave that alone for now. Anyway, what we're doing... And I'm gonna go ahead and get my spikes back here. I am working on the wall here, and what we're gonna do... The towers are all you know, mostly two levels high. There's a couple of oddball ones that are three. I have, I'm using the uh, chiseled iron bars, chisel glowstone, uh, mostly stone bricks for now. Once I get the, everything set up, I'm going to go back and um, replace some of these with cracked and or mossy bricks. And the corridors are the same way in the wall. There are uh, lots of glowstone. I need to uh, space that out a little bit more, I think. Let's see, make sure I'm not, uh, okay, right here. Right here looks good. I'm just kind of, you know, freehanding this as I go along. I do have an, an uh, illicit builder's wand here. Now there is one problem with the um, with the wall, and that is that the only point of entry right now is at the North Harbor, which is over this away. And right in here. The North Gate, the North Harbor Gate. I have a uh, spruce doors, the vanilla spruce doors, and then I've got. Um, I've been working on windows in the wall here, and actually looks like I should probably put one there. Is this two? It's two. One, two. Uh. And naturally, there's a tree right in. Uh, not, that's not a tree. That's why I didn't have a window there, because there's a tower there. Never mind. Actually, hey. 
but maybe I can do this. No, actually, I'm going to put that back. Put those bars back there. Get these fancy bars here. Do I still have the spruce door in my uh, inventory? I do not, but I can get it. Let me, and I am also in peaceful right now. Just so nothing will uh, harm my villagers. I have a village. I have uh, built the Great Wall of Be Beefnopolis around a village. Okay. Um, that looks crummy. So let's, uh, yeah. Let's fill that in for now and we'll figure out. Um, I'll just uh, move it over. How about that? Okay. That, that's a little better. I still need to do something else with it, probably, but it looks fine for now. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that'll add a few uh, extra little points of entry other than the harbor. Okay. Another thing I'm doing, I'm going along the edge of the wall just for a little bit of contrast with the... Uh, it's not supposed to be acacia wood, that's supposed to be dark wood. What's wrong with you? That sure does not look like acacia wood to me. I swear it's dark wood. See, that's right here. Dark wood. Dark oak wood. But anyway, I'm going along the ed the tops of the wall with the dark oak lo wood logs and then using the chiseled iron spikes, the menacing iron spikes, as a uh, little finish there. And that also adds the little benefit of there not being anything able to spawn on top of these. So I don't have to worry about things spawning on top of the wall and getting stuck in the wall or falling down off the wall and onto my head. The wall, for the most part, is the same height all the way around except for this bit. Um, I ran into a little hilly bit and it made the wall too short. So I did a little experiment and it seems to work perfectly okay with the, uh, with the stairs. So uh, we're going to start on this bit of the wall right here. I'm going to actually do a little bit of building here. Okay, these go up like this. Whoops, not like that. This goes under the glowstone. Two, one. And then, like so. And then I put the little uh, drawbridge or uh, gate right there. I'll also do the same thing on top here and just go around the top like so just to uh, add a little bit of color to it so it's not all cold stone no it's it's fine it just it just looked weird for some reason okay yep them noisy meteor shields worth it they're a little harder to make now than they were in New World. Whoops. But that's okay. Um, and I'll do some legit later on. Just so you can see how they are made. Hey, buddy. Go, go, go on. Shoo. Cat trying to get all up in my business. Yeah, I'd never had a random kitty comet before. And I'm uh, just minding my own business down in the mine. And all of a sudden, down in chat, it says, uh, Living entities detected in airspace. Prepare for multiple impacts. Like, what? Yeah, that would be space kitties. And lots of them. Lots and lots of them. That I did actually have two hit in the village. But they don't seem to have taken out anything important. So, it's okay. It's fine. It's all good. Oops, no, not there. So no, I'm obviously not going to build the entire Great Wall on camera. Because that will take forever. And you will be bored. But I can at least show you the pattern. Show you what I'm doing. Give you a general idea. And there we go. Go ahead and put the spikes on. 
Okay. Got a little jungle over that way. I th last time I looked, there was still a couple of comet kitties chilling over there. I will show you my uh, noob shack, which I'm actually it is actually a ruin that I am squatting in. Um, let's see, it should be right over there. Yeah, here we. Go. That's right. Yeah, this little hut um, actually survived the kitty comet apocalypse. I uh, did. I did uh, replace some of this dirt. It did take out the mine a little bit. It did uh, take out a little bit of the house. This is all junk that I've either brought from spawn, which you may have seen during the stream a little while back. These sear bricks came out of the village. There was kind of a uh, fake smeltery set up in there. This is all just stuff that I have put away for now because I don't need it. So I will... Uh, is there anything in the furnace? No. Okay. Let's go back to uh, spiking the wall here. Another thing you may notice I'm doing a little differently this time. I'm, uh, for now, we'll see how this works. I'm sticking with the vanilla textures. That's not something I normally do. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to give it a try. And also, um, it's a little, little easier on the, uh, little easier on the system. I do not have the latest and greatest computer. It's not bad, but it's not fantastic either, so... Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Alright, so... Go ahead and start, uh... on this. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Even if it's not perfect, it's okay. It's alright. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. This is my world. My happy little world. Um, except, yeah, there we go. That That's more like it. Okay. So this mod pack is very much like Hexit was. Um, it's mostly magic mods. Very, very little tech. And you can see down there, um, yes, that is diamond. The the insane origin is back. Oops, that's not really what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. And we'll spike that. Yeah, the uh, origin is just as crazy. This pack has uh, special mobs. Uh, it has um, all kinds of horrible kinds of silverfish. If you saw the uh, natural magic stream I did a little while back, you saw the silverfish apocalypse. And in fact, there is a uh, highlight of that here on YouTube uh, because that was pretty awful. Okay, so I'm not going to do this whole the whole wall, but I am that I'm just going to show you to give you some idea. That's how I'm doing the wall. And it actually looks really cool on the mini-map. It looks cool from the air. And so we're going to do that all the, way th all the way around. Now this, uh, I was mentioning, this is the exception to the two-story tower rule. There was uh, some bit of weirdness in the landscape here that made it um, a little weird to, oh, excuse me, have a, uh, made the, uh, the, the floors, the first floor, way too tall. Yeah, it's raining. Goody. So I thought I'd put this uh, little uh, open air extra level in here, and it works pretty well. Looks looks cool. Kind of gives you a, opens it up a little bit. And I need to knock out the windows in this tower here. Uh, these guys, these little guys here, blocklings. I'm not real sure. What. It's my understanding that they can act kind of like golems, but um, I haven't really messed with them yet. There's uh, some other, th one of these uh, random floating platforms out here. I will go check it out legit because it's got some treasure on it, I think. But uh, yeah, the wall goes all the way around to here so far. And I will have to uh, do a little bit of deforestation. Uh, that poor sheep is trapped in that tower. And I come around here. 
I'm gonna I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. Maybe some kind of an alchemist tower or something. Extra wizard's tower. Come around here. There's this tomb that was uh, in the village that I had to clear out of spawners. I think I got them all. Yeah. Uh, actually, that uh, that needs uh, closed up. Did I already? I did not already get everything out of here. I'll do that. I'll come back legit and do that. Okay. Uh, let me do a thing here. Because this is annoying. Weather. There we go. Turn the rain way down. And over here, we're going to do a lighthouse. And I would like... Uh, I have never really done any redstoning seriously before. So I would kind of like to attempt to rig one up that actually uh, actually does the thing. A lighthouse that actually lights. <laughs> now, this is something else cool that I'm going to show you here. This, was, uh, this is not something that I installed. This was in the village. Or actually, under the village. There we go. The uh, jaded ladder, trapdoor ladder thing. I was dinking around in one of the caves underneath the uh, village here. Can I not close that from here? Okay. Let's get rid of this uh, extraneous flower here. And see if we can close. There we go. Close the uh, jaded ladder, trapdoor. This was I, I was I saw all these bricks. I thought, oh my god, is there a stronghold here? No, there is not. But um, this place appears to have a prefab sewer, and that's uh, I knocked a hole in it there. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. It's pretty small. I may expand it at another time. Yeah, it's it's already got a sewer in it. So that's, that's something. Go ahead and uh, climb on out of here. It has, uh, let's see, I've got a garden here that I'm planting magical stuff in. And we'll come back and harvest that legit. There's the uh, standard carrots and wheat and stuff. Here's the uh, well. Now this, this house, this is interesting. There is a mod, um with garden stuff in it, uh, planters and all kinds of stuff like that. And, oh, there is a party in that house. That guy is trading for clay stamps. Now, I have not really played with clay stamps yet or the planters or anything else, but it looks pretty cool. Got a tinker's house here. And so, yeah, this village is actually going to become part of the castle city. I'm going to add some more buildings to it. I'm going to add some more roads to it. This is where the fake smeltery was, by the way. i uh, got some more crops there. But yeah, we're going to wall this whole place up. And the actual castle itself is going to be off this away. You know, so I started to make the gravel road here. It's going to be off in here. In this uh, big wide open space here. And I will fill and shave down as necessary. Do I have any bone meal? I do. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, bone meal this ground here. Just to make it not look totally bald. I think this is where I filled in a kitty comet crater. So. And you get, have some idea uh, what kind of work I'm going to be doing here. So I am going to get back to it. And next time I will have the wall complete. And we'll start working on some other stuff. I will see you then folks. Bye bye. Ew.